Hi everyone, welcome back to the Info Street channel. In today's video, we are going to dive deep into the SAP API management and see how to create an API proxy using the Swagger Pet Store API. So this is another example where we will also cover setting up policies, consuming the API and publishing it on the SAP API Business Hub portal. If you haven't watched my previous video where we have set up the GW Sample Basic API, make sure to check that out first. So now let's get started. So let's start by understanding what is a consumer and a provider. Okay, so this consumer is basically the entity or application that consumes an API to perform operations or fetch data. In our case, it will be the postman, which will be consuming the API that we will create in this video. Next is the provider. So this provider is basically the entity that offers the API services. In our example, it will be Swagger Pet Store which is a API provider of the pet data APIs. Okay, and we will be using this particular URL to create an API provider. Now, as you can see on my screen, on the left side, we have consumer and on the right side, we have a provider. So this consumer will call an API hosted in the BTP and this BTP will in turn call the backend system. So in the BTP, we have the integration suite. So this integration suite is a cloud-based tool that helps integrate data and processes between different systems, allowing secure and seamless data flow. It is crucial for managing APIs, handling data transformations, and ensuring connectivity across various platforms. So inside the integration suite, we have the API management. So this API management is basically the part of SAP integration suite that lets you manage the complete API lifecycle from creation to monitoring and securing APIs. So this is where we manage our API proxies, policies, API provider and publish products. So, okay, now let's understand few components of SAP API management. The first one is API provider. So this is the representation of external API. It serves as a connection to the backend service that provides the data. We use this to define the details of external API such as the host URL and authentication method. So in our case, it will be the pet store API which we will be using to create the API provider. The next thing is the API proxy. So this API proxy act as an intermediary between the consumer and the provider. It allows you to apply security, monitoring and traffic management policies without changing the backend service. Now we have product. So a product is basically a bundle of APIs that you can publish together. It helps in packaging multiple APIs and managing their access and usage. Now we have the API business of enterprise portal. So this is where your published APIs and products are visible and consumers can browse the available APIs, subscribe to them and use them in their applications. And lastly, we have application. So when we create an application in the API Business Hub, it allows us to consume the APIs we have published. It also generates client credentials, client ID and secret needed for accessing the security APIs. And we will be using these credentials when we will be consuming our API in the postman. Okay, now let's head back to our integration suite. So we will be creating a new API provider. So click on create button. Let me just give it a name as pet store API provider. Okay, the type would be internet. Let me just copy the host name. So as you can see on my screen, this will be the host name. Let me just copy it. Okay, now, okay, so let me just copy it from here. Okay, you don't need to provide HTTPS here. The port will be 443.
now click on save now click on test connection so as you can see the connection is successful uh, if you want to access the url that is available in api provider you can just go to the catalog service settings and click on it see we are able to access it now the second thing is to create the api proxy click on create now here we will be selecting our api provider here you need to enter the relative url now you need to enter the name and title and here we will be providing the base path the service type would be rest instead of odata now click on save okay now we will be adding the policies to our api proxy okay but before we add the policy i want to explain you what is the proxy endpoint and the target endpoint so the proxy endpoint is the point where your api consumers will connect to and in this we have pre flow and post flow so this pre flow occurs before the request is sent to the target it is used for request validation authentication etc and this post flow uh, happens after receiving the response from the backend before sending it to the consumer so it is used for response modification and logging okay so next we have target endpoint so this defines how the sap integration suite connect to the backend pet store api and here we also have pre flow and the post flow pre flow is used for modifying request before they reach the backend service and this post flow is used for modifying the responses received from the backend service okay so let's start adding the policy so we will be selecting the pre flow and uh, on the right side we will be using this verify api key enter the policy name of your choice after that click on add no so as you can see in the bottom here is the xml code now here we need to mention the variable that is containing the api key okay so here you need to mention the variable containing the api key let me just quickly mention it now we'll click on update now and again we'll click on save now it's time to deploy the api proxy okay so this api proxy is now deployed so after this uh, we have these three steps remaining the first one is to create the product then we will add the proxy and then we will be creating an application in the sap business api hub to create product you need to navigate to the engage tab now click on create give the name of your choice but it should not include any white spaces copy the same name to the title now if you want you can give the description let me just give a description here now we will go to the api tab and click on add here we will be selecting our api now click on publish okay so once it is done we will navigate to the api business hub enterprise portal so as you can see we have our product now click on apis so as you can see we have got our api proxy url we will be using this in the postman let me just go back
So you need to click on subscribe and create new application. Give the name of your choice. Now click on create. Okay, now as you can see, you have got the application secret and application key. So we will be using this in the postman as well for the authorization purpose. Okay, now let me just quickly navigate to the postman. Here I will create a new request. The request type will be post. I will be entering the API proxy URL. Now in the header section, I will enter some header. The first one will be accept of application JSON. Next will be the API key. Now here I need to paste the API key that we have got for our application. So I will just quickly navigate to my workspace and I will copy my API key. Let me paste it here. So as this is a post request, I need to enter some data. Let me copy it from Swagger. And I will navigate to the body section. Okay, so now it's time to just click on send. So as you can see, we have got our response. So everything is working correctly. Okay, so for testing purpose, let me just delete few characters from the key. Now click on send. So as you can see, we have got the message as invalid API key, which is unauthorized. Yes, and that's it. We have successfully created an API proxy and tested it using the postman. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the InfoStreet channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.